Hi, I'm Doug Imbo with the Lewis Winch Company. You've probably heard of the Lewis Winch. You may even own one. We've sold thousands and thousands of them all over the world in the last 40 years. Well, we've got a new product out that I want to show you today, but just before I do that, let me just tell you a little bit about the Lewis Winch and how it works. The Lewis Winch is a chainsaw powered winch, pulls 8,000 pounds with one Lewis Winch snatch block. Originally invented for the selective logging industry because, of course, all loggers have chainsaws. And the, the way it's, it works is it has a little piece of cutterless chain that drives off the back of the Lewis winch and onto the drive of the chainsaw, and that's what gives the, the, the winch its power. Now, there's another system that the Lewis winch uses, which is called the direct drive system, which is just a little adapter assembly that goes between the spline on the chainsaw and bolts directly up to the back of the Lewis winch using the same two bolts that hold the chainsaw bar on. So what we've decided to do is adapt another product to run off a chainsaw exactly the same way. That product is a post hole digger, an ice auger, or a, a wood drill. Now you wonder how we do that. Well, what we did was, is we took a product that our sister company, Canon Manufacturing, had out, and they call it the Canon Tree Planter. I'll show you one. Now we now call this the Lewis Multi-Drill, but essentially it is the same as the Canon Tree Planter. And what, the, what this does, again, is it bolts onto the side of a chainsaw, and it runs an auger. And what this was originally uh, meant to do, and by the way, this has been around for almost 40 years too. So if you've been in the nursery industry or the tree planting industry, you may have heard of the Canon tree planter. Th th this is basically the same unit. We've just updated it. And now what we're able to do is we're able to run an earth auger, an, an ice fishing auger for drilling on the ice, where you go ice fishing, and a wood boring drill. Now the original Canon tree planter was similar to the original Lewis winch, where it ran off a piece of cutterless chain. Now we still have that same product available from the Lewis Multi-Drill Company and you can still buy that, ex that same system today. But what we've done is we've updated it. That's what I'd like to show you, the brand new Lewis Multi-Drill. I've got one here in my hand. I'll bolt it up to a little Husqvarna chainsaw and sitting on a six inch earth auger. Now remember, it's not all work and no play with the Lewis Multi-Drill because we can put our ice fishing auger on here and take it out on a weekend. Let me show you how it works. The adapter plate that's supplied, the bolts onto the same two bolts that your chainsaw bar attaches onto. As a matter of fact, it uses the same two nuts. And then the Lewis multi-drill just bolts onto that and sandwiches the drive adapter in between. Now this is the same drive adapter that we use on the Lewis winch. So if you've got a Lewis winch, you'll recognize this. You'll know how it works. Now one of the beauties of using a chainsaw to drive an earth auger, a one-man post hole digger as this one is, is is that if it hits a root or a rock, it's not going to throw you flying the way most post hole diggers do because there's a clutch on the, on the chainsaw and that clutch is going to act exactly the same way as it does if your chainsaw bar gets stuck in a log. It's just the chain is going to stop and the engine's going to keep running and allow you to work it free and then start again. So it's a very safe, fun, and easy machine to operate. As a matter of fact, let's go have some fun right now and let's dig a hole with her. Okay, we're ready to drill our first hole for our 4x4 post here. Now we've got a, a 6 inch earth auger on here which is perfect for the 4x4 post that we're doing for this wood fence. Now this is a pretty safe machine to operate because as I told you before because it's got a clutch and it kicks out if you hit a big rock or something but for you, those of you businessmen who are doing this wearing your tie, don't try not to get it tangled up in the, in the, in the auger. That's uh, about the only thing you really have to worry about. So let's see if we get the saw fired up here and I'll show you how this baby will drill a hole. Trying to get that to stand up on its own there. Now you can see within minutes we've got a perfectly good hole. I'm putting in a 4x4 post and we're off and going. That's how the Lewis multi-drill does that. 